Hi, this is Scott from Always Time for Nine. And the Masters is now over. And it was the coldest one since this one in 2007, which we attended. Uh, it was a cold and rainy couple of days back in 2007. Uh, we're going to get back to our blog right now. And we're going to talk about a trip that we took uh, a few years ago. The first course uh, that we, we uh, visited was Country View Golf Course in Ontario, Oregon. And this trip took us through Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and Washington. Uh, as we drove up to this course, we saw a sign on the side of a barn that said, big onions, big smiles, over 1 billion pounds shipped each year. And yes, Eastern Oregon is onion country. As I drove up Onion Street, yes, Onion Street, I thought I heard Julie Andrews singing, the hills are alive with the smell of onions. Or was it the Beatles singing, sweet onion fields forever? At least Karen wasn't with me to have to uh, listen to this bad singing. And again, it is bad singing. So big onions, yes. Big smiles, we'll see. Uh, after I complete my round at Country View Golf Course. And this is just a quick synopsis of the course. You can read the re complete review at alwaystimefor9.com. I decided to walk today, but as I stood at the tee box at hole number one, I viewed the hills in the distance and wondered if I'd made the correct decision. We'll see. This par four is a dog leg to the left and a nice wide fairway to accept your opening wild for me tee shot uh, that it's it's wide to the right not much to the left so keep it right there are black blue white yellow and red tee boxes to choose from uh, and we're playing from the whites today so let's skip to hole number three which is a par three of 143 yards from an elevated tee box nice hole uh, with plenty of room on all sides around the small green so as I struggled up the gravel path at hole number four, my decision had been made. Uh, if I play this course again, I will take a cart. Remember that, Scott, I will take a cart. This par four is another dog leg left and goes downhill, then back uphill. My heart was starting to race and I was hoping they had a defibrillator at the golf course. Uh, this course is about halfway between Salt Lake City and Bend, Oregon. I just wanted to get out and stretch my legs with a walk, but I didn't want to die out here. All right, let's skip to hole number eight. Uh, it's a little walk from the last green. So again, I'm thinking C-A-R-T. Okay, It's one of the easiest holes because it's straight and short, 290 yards, and it's a wide landing area. So like I said, if you want to hear about the entire course, you can go to alwaystimefor9.com. But I gave it a rating of birdie, which is 42 out of 60. This is a family run and design course. The owner, Scott, can't go wrong with that, did an excellent job with the routing and configuration of this nine hole course. Every hat hole has some character to it. Up, down, long, short, left, right, okay? What I think is complex about this course is from a distance, it looks fairly uh, flat, but as you walk these fairways, they drift and slope to the left and to the right. Uh, this can cause a few issues when playing for the first time. The course was in excellent condition, except for the greens, which were a little bit long. As I finished the round, I visited with Scott, who was working on a finicky grounds mower. He was just heading out to cut those greens. Thus is the life of an independent small town golf course owner and please go out and support these guys um, however if you are 70 years of age and older i would consider a cart so now for your listening pleasure get ready for it the hills are alive with the smell of onions with smells that have smelled for a thousand years <clears throat> pretty good huh the hills fill my nose with the smell of onions. My mouth wants to eat every bulb, but those tears. So again, that was the first leg of our journey through Oregon, Idaho, Montana, and Washington. Stay tuned for some other uh, courses as we get into Idaho. And remember, there's always 
time for nine.